All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the First Owner RTG, the 6 p.m. content reaction RTG, the... I actually miss playing FIFA gameplay RTG, but having said that, hopefully those of you guys on YouTube have tuned into my Twitch stream for the Gran Turismo content. Uh, no, nothing has come out to YouTube for it yet. I don't know if Armalika is working on some like daily Gran Turismo highlights content for you um, or not. That's up to him. But uh, if you haven't seen any Gran Turismo content, first link in the description, uh, twitch.tv slash nick2018. Highly recommend you jump in and check it out. I don't know if we're really going to be doing too, too much for YouTube just because there's too much going on with FIFA still right now. We got to understand we still got to grind the game uh, just to be able to get these 6 p.m. content epis out for you guys. So having said that, the stream is where to see uh, all of the Gran Turismo content from 2 p.m. UK to 8 p.m. UK a day. We're playing Gran Turismo from 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. UK. We're playing Escape from Tarkov. That's kind of the, the schedule right now on stream. And then, of course, with 6 p.m. FIFA content sprinkled in to the mix. So I appreciate your guys' support. Either way, the streams have been just bopping, man. Uh, I'm very, very grateful. And I mean, now that we have a five-star skilled uh tammy i don't know if he'll actually get much use but he does look like a very very fun card and albeit maybe ends up being a bit of sbc fodder speaking of sbc fodder these cards wouldn't have really been usable in september but nevertheless we now get to choose um i think we're gonna go for giasi zardas actually and the reason being is we don't have that many mls players and i feel like we're gonna start getting mls requirements and stuff so i think we'll keep him and Oh, do they walk out? Wow. Okay. I didn't realize that. My fault. That's cool. I don't even know what his card looks like in game. Stats wise, weak foot skills. I, I can't imagine EA would really upgrade him, right? Or did they? Oh, five star weak foot is super cool. Oh, I like that. And again, with an engine, 96 balance, 95 agility, 93 dribbling, 92 acceleration, 96 sprint speed is kind of good, you know. For a MLS setup or an American setup, once again, all American players, no Canadians anywhere. It's fine. I'm not mad at you, EA. So being that it's Sunday and it's now 6 p.m., there should be some decent content, right? I think we, we're not going to get upgrade packs, but we get might get a few more players added into the birthday squad. We got an Ndombele added in. Oh, he should be. Ooh, four-star, five-star Ndombele, dude. Medium, medium, not the best, but... As an all-round card, very nice. Insane dribbling, insane passing. So I would argue you give him a... Is it called a gladiator? That boosts defending and shooting? I think it's called a gladiator. That would be perfect. Outside of the foot shot trait too. Five-star weak foot is super cool. As always, right? I get boring me saying this, but I think high, high work rates would be fantastic. Four teams. Is he going to be crazy overpriced? 83 and an inform with 75 chem. I mean, that alone is already 25k. 84 rated at 70 chem. Dude, that, what are we at? Like 80k? 60, 70, 80k already? 170, 180-ish? And then the 86. Hey, man, is that not like a 250 to 300k card? Did... I mean, I have no idea how he's even 90 rated also with his stats. It doesn't make any sense at all. I think they screwed up. I actually think they screwed this card up. Because the rating doesn't match the in-games. And the cost of the SBC doesn't match the in-games either. The French tax. It's Sabitzer all over again. Yeah, remember that? Remember that Sabitzer? What was it from uh, Honorable Mention Sabitzer? Or was it from Futmus as well? Futmus always had the overpriced SBCs. I can't remember where Sabitzer was. 500k Sabitzer. Worst card ever. That's weird, man. I I don't know how to feel about that. Feels like they screwed something up. He was the Team of the Year nominee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let me just double check if we've missed anything else there. Um, I don't think so. FUT 13 and FUT 14. We have to do both of these. I was off yesterday, so we missed this one. We'll have to do both of these. I don't want to miss out on that. Prime Icon Upgrade. Okay, that's new? Prime Icon Upgrade? Would we want to see player picks or more or the Prime Icon Upgrade, boys? What are we thinking? 
Player picks or Prime Icon upgrade? I feel like the picks are better, personally. They're more fun, too, aren't they? Peepees, yeah? Everybody loves peepees. Bot 14 is a ripoff? I mean, I think it's all a ripoff at the end of the day. The problem is, is if you want that token, right? You get a one rare gold player, dear God. So how have they overpriced this? 80 rated, yeah. I mean, it absolutely is a ripoff, but you're just paying for the token. Yeah, I think personally I'm going to go for the PPs, boys. I mean, the PPs have been incredible. Mid R9 and Dino in my last two player pick packs. I think we got to... Just in case you forgot what my club looks like before we start opening packs. This is what... Well, not, not this specifically, but... Um, this is what our team is looking like. Our last two PPs have had Dino and then R9. R9. Nine. Insane. Insane. I mean, he needs an engine and then he's... Oh my god, look at him on an engine. 91 balance, 92 agility, 99 dribbling, and 99 acceleration pace and everything. Oh, this card is unfair, man. I need to play... We're going to do... I, I make this promise to you guys. Before the end of the year, we're going to do at least one more full Iquan, Iquan, Icon Weekend League squad. And we'll do a Dream Team Weekend League run as well. Whatever the Dream Team looks like at whatever point we want to. Maybe for Team of the Season. When Team of the Season, out, the red player picks are out. We'll do one Icon run. Maybe for the Prem. And then we'll do maybe a full Dream Team run for the League. Uh, those are probably the only two I really care about for Team of the Season. So, um, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do something like that closer to Team of the Season when the red picks become. Now, there are the new players. Ruben Vezo. Guerrero and Odegaard. So again, Arsenal fans super excited, of course. Uh, selfishly, how do I go look at this again? That's the sun. Three new players being released. I mean, are the, Odegaard's probably going to be good. Vezo and Guerrero. Let's have a look at those two real fast. They should be in the game. Uh, if we go Vezo. Okay. Medium, medium. Five star skill center back. All right, EA. EA are on those Sunday gummies. Just a dead card. I'm sorry. I I can't sugarcoat it. And then it was Guerrero, right? Guerrero should be a fun card. Maybe as a left mid in a 3 5 2. I bet you he'll be good. Icon, right? Kappa. 90 pace. What an upgrade. Dear goodness gracious. Oh my God. If they give him a five star weak foot. Tell me they've upgraded his work rates. Damn it, but still. That's crazy. Guerrero for the Icon Squad? I mean, we already have um, Roberto Carlos, but an option. Yeah, the high-low work rates are a bit ass, but Alfonso Davies, uh, well, I'm a bit biased, but it is my favorite player uh, at left back in my club right now, and he's got high-low work rates. I don't really notice his work rates. Four-star, five-star is cracked. Pace upgrade is kind of cracked. I guess you just give him a shadow, really. 95 sprint speed, 99 acceleration into the high 90s, mid 90s. Box to box center mid. Yeah, but he's not going to be going box to box. He's going to be going to the opponent's box and then tr tr dawdling his way back. He's not going to be box to box. He's going to be box to uh, still the other box and not come back. But anyways, cool card. Now, this is the one that I think is going to be insane. Because I think Odegaard already has, what, four-star skills? So if they made him four-star, five-star? Dude, he's five-star, five-star. Are you joking? <gasps> Why do Arsenal fans get to have everything good? Their team's balling out right now. Mikel Arteta's got them doing crazy things. They look so good to watch. They are, they are so good to watch. They look so good on the field. That should be his base card. <laughs> oh, I am very jealous of Arsenal fans. I tend to always be jealous of Arsenal fans, man. In the 2000s, I was as well. Of course. Because Leeds were there or thereabout and then went into administration, whereas Arsenal went undefeated <laughs> as Leeds were going into administration. So, uh, Arsenal always making me jealous, dude. Hard to not have a soft spot for this damn club. So annoying. Fuck's sake. 
the goals Henri scored against United, the goal Burkamp scored against Newcastle. Like, they always just do crazy awesome stuff, man. So annoying. Anyways, awesome card. If you're an Arsenal fan, I'm very jealous of you right now, in real life and in game. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways, we move. Let's see if we can pack some of these guys. If I pack Odegaard, we'll take Team of the Year Messi out of the team, right, guys? Surely that's how it has to work. Oh, God. Dudes, I'm so obsessed with my other games I'm playing right now that I'm not even opening the packs I should be opening before the Epis. I'm really screwing up right now. <laughs> I'm really, really screwing up right now. <laughs> That's a jumbo pack from a League SBC! <laughs> hey, let's go, boys! GG! Alright. Well... That's not Tim Cahill, by the way. In-game, he plays more like Gary Cahill. Oh, my. Two shit twats in one. Solid 10K, bro. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> LLMU. Hey. Hey, man, you fans. How does it feel to feel sad? To feel ultimately upset about everything? Feels like crap, right? Yeah. Good. Bit of karma for you guys all abusing me on Twitter and, and making fun of us. Yeah. Man, you fans as mudded as Leeds fans right now, so. Different spectrums of the footballing world, but still, we're all mudded. Oh, God. Football's so heartbreaking, dude. I don't even want to go on the internet after Leeds' game yesterday. We played really well, and we deserved at least a point out of that game, but Kasper Schmeichel had to absolutely fist us, dude. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm not sad. It, two huge games coming up, and I'm sure we'll struggle there, too. I don't think Bamford's back anyways. It's gonna be fine. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna crawl into a hole and cry. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Where are my good packs? Why have they disappeared? It's so annoying. I can't believe we packed a hero card. That's so funny. KDB the GOAT. Casper Schmeichel is one hell of a keeper. Yeah, it sucks that it didn't work out at Leeds for him. But, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously I'm very happy with Elan Melier at this point in time. Heartbreaking is the images in Liga MX last night. I, I regret seeing some of that. I don't know. I don't understand what's happening in Mexico right now. I don't understand the, the the social angst and construct and everything that's going on out there right now. But I do not know how two sets of football fans can sit there murdering each other in the stands. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of sick to my stomach of a few of the images I saw. And I, it was by accident. Someone tweeted me the images. I'm like, dude, what? The, are you okay? I don't want to see this. Terrible. Just terrible. I really wish I didn't see any of it. Absolutely. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. The world is in such a dire, dire spot right now, man. It's uh, scary. Very, very scary. <sighs> I don't really need any of that. EA really want me to have the Australia kits, hey? I really regret watching those videos. Oh, do not. Yeah, don't watch any of that stuff, man. We're all in 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 really tough situations right now. The last thing you want to do, especially with everything going on with the war, it's just there's just too much going on, man. It's just too much going on. I I think we're kind of stuck in this medium now where we're all plugged into the world so any horrific event that happens across the world it all we all see it and it's all broadcast like it's a local problem does that make sense and i don't mean that that it's not a problem i just mean you know 50 to 100 years ago sure there's other issues to worry about but 50 to 100 years ago you barely had to worry about your local problems let alone let alone every single travesty and horrific show that happens across the world now Everything, I, I feel like every single insane event that happens is like in my neighborhood. And, and, and it has that effect on you, right? So it's, it's really, really tough, man. And you feel helpless. Because obviously you want to help people that are suffering and affected 
in those events and you want to help people that are suffering in 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 ukraine and you want to help people that are suffering in the in the middle east in lebanon and it just it just becomes completely overwhelming man because you just there's you know there's just only so much you can do so many things are happening back to back it, dude this type of stuff has happened since the dawn of human humans uh, once again it's just that you didn't we didn't see any of it or you didn't know right ignorance is bliss type of thing which i don't think is a good thing anymore i don't think being ignorant to what's going on and the suffering in every part of the world is good but I, i'm just saying mentally it's it's anyways let's just let's just leave let's just leave it at that eh? quick topic obviously that we we had to cover because obviously it, it it involved the footballing world but hearts out to anybody in mexico that was affected by the horrific scenes at the at the game my god what tv shows am i watching right now nothing nothing dude i am i'm educating myself on gran turismo car racing racing lines and i'm educating myself on tarkov escape from tarkov gunplay engagements gun builds um movement through a map that's what i'm obsessed with right now so i, I kind of end well i mean we stream 10 to 12 hours a day and then i end the stream and hang out with steph and the kids for you know three to four to five hours till the kids go to bed and then uh and then I try and catch up on a little bit of uh, work and content in and around racing or uh, Tarkov. And that's it. I, I I just don't have the time. I mean, if I didn't stream 10 to 12 hours a day, obviously I'd have way more time to get to consume content myself. But I choose to keep the stream grind going. I uh, I love my job too much. Especially with what I'm doing right now with uh, video games. Drive to Survive, I'll watch. I mean, obviously, that 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 I'll make time for. I mean, when Drive to Survive comes out, instead of watching racing, Gran Turismo specific stuff or Tarkov stuff, I'll I'll blast through all the Drive to Survive season four content. I can't wait for that. I've been waiting forever. It's crazy to think that F one is what a month away, a month and a bit away. That's exciting. Feels like uh, time has flown by. Only two weeks? Wait. I thought it was mid-April start. Is it mid-March? <gasps> Dude, that's like, I've just, it's just like it's Christmas today. Is it actually only two weeks away? You want to know why? I've been so obsessed with Escape from Tarkov that I've lost track of the world and time itself. I've been doing Tarkov, time with family, Tarkov, time with family, Tarkov, time that I, I didn't realize. Dude, a month and a, a month has gone by without even me realizing it. Insane. Um, That's incredible. Final testing. Yeah, I got, you know what? I got to catch up. I missed last week's uh, F1 content. Like the last bit of testing they were doing, or I don't even know if you want to call it testing or shakedowns or, or what, what have you, but I, I missed all of last week's F1 content. Oh, dude, we got some stuff to catch up on tonight. Oh, man, I'm really excited. I'm excited to see what the the partnership or battle becomes of George Russell and Hamilton. I'm excited to see if Verstappen and the Red Bull car are, are able to, to, to fight for their, you know, to retain their title, to retain his driver's title. I'm excited to see what McLaren does. I hope Lando does well. I'm excited to see the Ferraris and what they're able to do. I really want to see Sebastian Vettel do well with the Aston Martin. And of course, the Canadian Lance Stroll. I know everybody hates him, but um, I want to see him do well. I, I, dude, as always, we say this over and over again, but I don't have really any favorites in the F1 grid. I like them all. Like every single driver I like, man. It's it's hard not to like any. It's it's hard to to not like all the drivers. It really is. It really, really is. Like, is Albon gonna do okay in the uh, in the Williams? Is Latifi gonna, you know, just keep bringing up the 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 back end and then that, that's it? That's as far as it goes. 
Damn, four one city. L L M U. Well, crap weekend for Leeds fans, but hey, at least it's a crap weekend for Manu fans too. God bless. Oh, was it offside? It looks off. Is it off? All right, boys. Well, this is hopeless. <laughs> trying to trying to get something good for these epis. I mean, we did get an in for a team of the week walkout, and we did get ourselves a new hero that we'll never use ever. For racing fans, March has been the month that keeps on giving, dude. Gran Turismo is amazing. Uh, has there been leaks about the F1, the new F1 game coming out in the summer? Please tell me they're expanding on the co-op series. Please tell me. Please tell me they're expanding on that. I would love to see them expand on the co-op series. Has there been any news? Because me and Nep are going to do another co-op series. But how fun would it be um, to either include other content creators? The problem is, though, with other content creators, and no disrespect to Chani or anybody else, but people start playing video games with me or Nep, and then they just disappear for weeks at a time. Um, Crossplay? Ooh. Crossplay even in F1 is kind of fun. We might be able to get start getting lobbies with, uh, with Pi. That's kind of cool. Mmm. Uh, Zwei on F1? No. Again, if F1 is a game... I mean, Zwei tried it, right? But again, F1 is a game like Tarkov, like a few others, where you have to put ungodly hours. Oh, it counted 4-1? It was on? <laughs> Damn. Okay, VAR has been a disgrace this year. I think that's fair to say, isn't it? VAR has been horrible this year. It's back to like the, the, the... It's as bad as it was the first year it was implemented, man. Don't ever bring me back to that. Patrick Bamford's goal being called off because his left armpit hair was decided to be offside. Pathetic. I can, I've never seen a technology be so good and then policed and implemented so horribly than it's been in the English leagues. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Varchester City again. I mean, they're already winning 3-1, dude. I mean, you can write off City's lead as much as you want, but it's not. I mean, it's not accurate, bro. They're not getting the win because of VAR. But I agree, it's poor. Oh no, it's not 3-1, it's 4-1? What? I don't think you heard what I was saying, Habibi. Sorry, Liverpool fans, Man United are too crap to help. Well. I think it's more about beating City than helping Liverpool, I, I would think, for Man U fans. <laughs> oh my god, my Man U fan viewers are asking to be timed out until tomorrow. I respect it. I respect it. I time myself out as well when Leeds lose. I just don't, don't go on the internet for the day. <laughs> I respect that request from Tohans. I really do. Alright, boys. I think these packs are dead. I think we, we've gotten all that we can pack, realistically. I really wanted to get towards some of the better packs, but we might have to wait till tomorrow. I'll try and log on early. I'm just too obsessed with Gran Turismo. So again today, I forgot to log on to FIFA and open these not great packs so that we'd have good packs for the Epi. My apologies. You know, at least we, we got to see the content. At least we got to pack some okay things. But yeah, tomorrow on, on stream, twitch.tv slash nick 20 again, probably at 5.30 p.m. UK, we'll be opening these, what you would consider crappy packs first. And then we'll have a whole slew of really good packs. Uh, I'm hoping. For content. I just mute people that talk about the game when my team takes a loss. It's not easy to do on stream, brother, for me. Tough, uh, tough to do. Really tough to do, actually. I think these are only six or 700 coins. I don't really know why I'm listing Hawks, but... Oh, well. Okay, we'll open five more packs. It might only be five more jumbos, but we're going to open five more.
Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be five more jumbos, boys. Sorry. Ronaldo ghosted today. Was Ronaldo even used? I didn't. I saw that he wasn't even in the uh, the starting eleven. Man, I don't know if you can really blame Ronaldo for any of this, though. Man, United are garbage. So uh, there's only so much one guy can do. I mean, when you got Slabhead being a batch, um, he wasn't even on the bench. Yeah, like, you got Slabhead doing what he's doing. I don't know what uh, even healthy Ronaldo would have been able to achieve there. RJ, thank you, brother, so much, man. Appreciate you. Okay, number two. Yeah, I didn't see him on the. I didn't see him on, obviously in the starting eleven, but thought maybe he was just subbed on now, and you guys are just trolling. Look at people trying to blame Ronaldo. I mean, it's the same type of people that blame uh, blame Messi, dude. Just a bunch of batches. I I don't think I've ever seen. That's very cool. Ronaldo wouldn't have changed the result. Before GT7, which one was your all-time favorite? Memories-wise, probably just Gran Turismo 1. Nothing, dude, I, Gran Turismo 1 came out, what, when I was in high school, uh, elementary school? I remember vividly me and my cousins playing for hours, and then me and my cousins having to go to school, and, and we'd we'd tell our younger cousin to do the 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 long, like, 12-hour races or whatever, and just try and as go as much as he could, so that when we get home... We'd, we'd only have one or two hours left of the race and then we'd try and catch up and try and win the race at the end and stuff. Like, it was so great, man. It was, uh, yeah, great memories from Gran Turismo 1. Three different discs having to swap through them all and stuff like that. So, so incredible, dude. I, I, I just, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Amazing memories. You doing Prime Icon for fun? No, I don't have time to do it. Uh, if anything, for tomorrow, we'll we'll have a uh, mid-icon ready. We'll complete three of the teams, and then we'll only have the one team to finish. Did I get gold uh, on the license? I did. The A A class license, the 10th test, the final test with the Toyota Supra, took us four and a half hours on, what was it, Friday, and I couldn't get gold. We got a 29.03, and then this morning, it took us maybe half an hour to an hour, and then I finally locked it up. I think I was just too tired on Friday, man. 11 hours straight, twelve almost 12 hours of in the racing rig. Exhausting. Final test on the supercar license is so hard. Great. Can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I, I think I need a little bit of time. I'm going to get through all the A-class test, like, races and stuff. And then I'll worry about the the next license. That's kind of how I'm doing it. Is I, I, whenever I unlock the next set of licenses where I need this the supercar license for those races, I then go spend the next few days on licenses. It works out beautifully for me, because and it splits up the content and the stress and and the whatever as well. So I like it. Anyways, YouTube, I love you guys. Sorry, all we were able to give you was the the last little bit of hero pack pull and then a um. I guess an informed walkout, but that's what it is, right? I mean, on, on a road to glory, I can't be giving you guys, even if it's a 6 p.m. road to glory, I can't be giving you guys crazy R9 and Dino pack pulls every episode, right? It's it's bound to be a little bit dry at times, but I will say uh, the content isn't as good as I would have wanted it to be. I like the Odegaard. Uh, Guerrero, I like. High, high work rate, so it just made him a bit more cool. Ruben Vezo is just a terrible card. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch you guys on the flip side tomorrow for upgrade packs. And if we don't get anything tomorrow in the packs, we will do another mid-icon player pick pack. We'll catch you then. Peace.